do. Okay, my name is Court, but I am Harley Quinn. <laughs> okay, and what inspired this form? I've seen a lot of Harley Quinns here today, but this is by far. The real idea is this is Harley the first time she's away from the Joker and that's empowering. The actual reason is because I got a stain on this shirt and I figured I might as well just cosplay with it. Right, there you go. So Sorry cosplaying part. on a budget. And what does your shirt say? Burn after use. Nice, nice. Can you spin around and let us see your wig really quickly? <laughs> Thank you so much. What is the best costume you have seen today, Ren? Well, that depends. Uh, the best costume I saw was a Hawkman. Actually, a Hawkman. That was the With the six foot wings? Yes, you saw him? Yeah. That thing was a massive. It was massive, yeah. That was, that was the best one I saw. Not the nicest one I saw, but the best one I saw. <laughs> How did you get here today? Oh, I took the Batmobile here. Yes, was it um, a quick ride from Gotham City? Fairly quick, yeah. Nice. Uh, we have Hero Strong over here. Uh, we do hospital visits for kids and uh, other fundraisers and things like that. Uh, we were actually contacted, uh, we've done Make-A-Wish events and uh, there's a, a kid that was really excited to meet Batman. Uh, that was probably our most touching that we've done uh, as of recently. Uh, but we started this because uh, I met a little girl who had cancer and her favorite character was Batman. So we Basically, I put a Halloween costume together that I had just sitting around. So my wife contacted me and we met uh, at a Zumba event that they were doing a fundraiser for and I met her there. And uh, she invited me to her birthday. And pretty much ever since then, it's been off and running. Great look. I mean, come on. Guys are falling down in the aisles chasing her. Yeah. Yeah, cosplay <laughs> its finest. That's the way it works. Well, thank you. I am blushing underneath <laughs> all of this makeup. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about um, your business and this fabulous DeLorean? Sure. Uh, business name is DeLorean Entertainment, and my name is Eric. And right here we have a beautiful replica DeLorean. It was used in the movie Arthur with Nick Nolte, Russell Brand, and Jennifer Garner, as well as being Universal's official 30th anniversary car and believe it or not, signed by the cast. Yep, we have everyone, Michael, Chris Lloyd, Leah Thompson, uh, who else, Bob Gale who wrote the movie, Huey Lewis who did some of the music for it, Crispin Glover, Tom Wilson, like all the hard to gets. We're blessed to be able to work with a lot of the uh, cast from Back to the Future, so, and we also raised funds for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. So really, it's, a, it's really just a cool thing to be able to do. People love the car. We love to see the smile on their faces. So I always say I got the best job because people walk up and they just start grinning going, oh my God, I love that movie. It was absolutely something that I grew up on. Could you tell us a little bit more about these pink pieces right here? Well, we got the hoverboards. These are knockoffs, but I thought it was really cool. Every time I'd come, I'd bring this hoverboard and people would be like, oh, that's really cool. You ought to make one that hovers. So we came over here and I decided to make one that you could stand on to give you the effect of hovering like Michael nice. in the movie. So, you know, you gotta make it work, gotta give to something fresh for the customers every time, but they love the idea that, you know what, we don't have it yet. I'm a little disappointed, 2017, no hoverboards, but we'll get there. Well, they have the rolling hoverboards, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's still not the same thing. It's just, uh, it's close though. 
I heard they explode. What do you think about that? I don't know, you know? I, it's crazy world we live in technology nowadays. They make these batteries more powerful than they've ever been and smaller, so, you know, anything can happen, but the reality is, guess what? No matter what you get these days, you got to be safe. I'm Stephanie with Essence Cartoons, um, and we wanted to ask you some questions about your mystery boxes today. What's your name? My name is Marco. I work for Toink, T O Y N K dot com. We have a huge online toy store, and we go to all the cons and sell mystery boxes. What is in these mystery boxes? All kinds of stuff in the mystery boxes. As you see, we have a whole mystery menu where we have randomness and theme boxes. This right here, for example, is a super mega deluxe box, and it's $150. It's got all kinds of high-end action figures, Travolta from, from Pulp Fiction. We got Zolta. I don't know what that is. I'm not, <laughs> not even going to front. Uh, official Riddler Migos. A Riddler Migos. Vault Boys. Vault Boys. Stranger Things hats. Zelda boxes. Killer instincts. Statues. Nikki Six from Motley Crue. Nikki Six from Motley Crue. More stuff. There's even more things. What else is in here? Yoda is in here. Where else can you get Yoda in your box? Where can you get Yoda in your box besides WizardCon with Twink, Twink, Twinks? Did I, did I say it right? You absolutely did. Twink, T-O-Y-N-K dot com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your interview today. Make sure to follow us at Essence Cartoons. Absolutely. Thank awesome. you. Wrapping up the day here at Wizard World Comic Con in Columbus, Ohio. Make sure to subscribe to Essence Cartoons on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.